Welcome tankers to Blimey here with another phenomenal replay for you. Today we have a 34,503 win 8 game in the MT-25. Now ever since they added the new tanks, the MT-25 is no longer basically the top Russian light. It's now number 3, so all of a sudden it's starting to get a much better matchmaker. And here we're in a tier 7 battle, and well, the MT-25 used to be great in tier 9 or 8, but against tier 7 it can be absolutely dominant. It's so fast, but the gun does lack penetration, so I end up shooting a lot of gold out of it. Now here I'm pretty sure the field's relatively empty, so I've decided to go Suicide Scout and look for their arty. And here we find one. But we also find a Hellcat on our left, and a, another medium tank on our left as well. And of course, everything bounces off of our E. But luckily, we, we dodge a couple shots and manage to kill him, and there we dodge another shot. Now, the Hellcat has a really bad turret traverse, so you, you always want to get their turret moving, and I think I have enough time to kill him, so instead of hiding behind the fortification there, I decided to turn left and go out and kill the Hellcat and then now worry about this guy. And look at the ground <laughs> here, all the the whole ground's on fire it seems. And that's the great thing about the MT-25, it is so fast that when people are shooting at you from 400, 500 meters away, there's a very good chance they'll miss. And, as you can see, all the bounces there are why I, I ended up shooting a fair bit of gold. And I'm actually very close to my third star in the MT-25, and I've got three stars on the Chaffee, and you wouldn't believe how many times I got one game away from getting the third star only to get one shot, and then once that happens, you're like five or ten good games away again. <laughs> And then I'd work my way back up to one game away, and I'd get one shot. And I probably... I was... I probably got one shot 20 times when I was one game away from the third star in the Chaffee, so now that I'm close in the MT-25, I figure I'm gonna shoot gold <laughs> as much as I can until I get that damn star. <laughs> and I'm getting very, very close. I'm, this game almost gave it to me. Now, here, I'm gonna try and get in behind the bushes and shoot into the city. And hopefully we won't be spotted, because it's mostly heavier tanks that are left. And the ones with good view range are out in the field. So now I can take my time and go around to the bushes I was looking for. And now the enemy is flanking around down towards the south. So I know I'm more than 15 meters behind these bushes, so I know I can shoot through them without being spotted, and the people in the city are too far away to see me. And now it's four on four. And now here's where I made a huge mistake. I did not see that there was still one enemy back there, and he just killed our TD. It's not until right here that I realized, oh my god, I'm running away from the enemy. So, of course, you always do something stupid in a great game that you're going to put on YouTube. So now, now that I've realized he's there, I figure I'd better go back and kill him. Something I should have done a lot earlier. And he spots us, but luckily no one in the, in the city is shooting at us. And both of uh, the enemy tanks have decided to go for our heavy and 
have completely ignored me, which is a nice change. And unfortunate we didn't get the kill there. But now it's three on one, but I'm wondering if it's really one on one, because even though our tiger has a bunch of kills here, he's heading away from the enemy, and our other medium is out in the field, and the enemy has been spotted in the middle of town, and I've pinged <laughs> where he was, <laughs> and still both of my teammates are... I don't know what they're doing. So now instead of hiding, I figure I want speed, because if, if I come up upon him randomly, if I stop and try and backpedal, that's usually five or six seconds, and he'll usually have enough time to turn and shoot. So I want as much speed as possible, because if I come across him, I want to get around behind him as quick as possible if he's facing away uh, at me, or, of course, stop if he's facing away from me. And now here I'm going on this side of the hill, because I don't want him to spot me. I know I've got about a minute to go and light him and kill him, and I do not want him to see me until I have a shot at him, and I want to be coming from his side or rear. And that was a 34,500 win 8 battle.